Have you ever wondered how long it will take you to complete the SUA project? The average time is 25 hours, and in some cases, it can take up to 30 hours. However, don't be upset by those numbers, because in this video, we will show you some tips to become more efficient, and it can help you drastically lower the time you spend on this project. If you follow these tips, you can easily complete the project in 20 hours, and spend the other 5 hours watching a show like maybe Game of Thrones. The most important tip is to take advantage of your teaching assistant's office hours. Why? Teaching assistants have experience working with the SUA project. They can easily check your work and point out any mistakes you have. So no more frustration with possible mistakes. Here are some guidance you can follow to gain the most out of this resource. First, do not wait. Many students forget about this resource or come too late to see them. So work on this project as soon as possible so you can seek their help soon. Second, be prepared. There will be many other students seeking help for one or two teaching assistants. So it is not a one-on-one -on -one session where they can guide you through the entire project. So you should try to work and understand the transaction first before seeking their help. This will save both your time and the teaching assistant's time. Teaching assistants are there to help you, so make sure to use this resource effectively. Second, always keep the, four, the following four sacred items close by. The transactions list, flow charts, journals, and subsidiary ledgers. You will often need them in every transaction. Open them up and get them ready at all times when you work on this project. Third, when you are actually doing the transactions, make sure you are looking at the appropriate flowchart. For example, if the transaction involves making a credit sale, look at the flowchart labeled Sales. The flowcharts often tell you exactly the steps you need to complete in order to finish the transactions. Next, be organized with your documents. When you are finished filling in a document, immediately file it in the tabs. If all the documents are scattered around, it will take a lot of time to find the one that you actually need. Remember, organization is key. Finally, read the transaction carefully. The transaction and the appropriate flowchart will tell you exactly the documents you need and steps you need to perform. So thank you for watching the fourth episode in the SUA series. In the next episode, we will go over the first few transactions.